update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes uh, coming to you live from the shores of mostly cloudy and a little bit drizzly Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 92 points. That's about three-tenths of a percent. The S&P a half a percent or 21 points. The Nasdaq six-tenths or 77. The Russell 2000, which did the Russell 2000 equity future contract, did generate a uh, Gartley sell pattern yesterday. That's back about nine-tenths or 16 points. The semi's off four-tenths, 12 points. Tranny's off a half a percent or 64 points. Spot volatilities are trading higher, so below its 50-day exponential moving average. That may be its target to the upside. Gold's off five bucks. Silver's down 29 cents. That's about one and three tenths percent. Lights recruit is back 27 pennies. Natural gas having a nice day. It's up 22 cents, trading out at 8.92. Through your treasury is up seven ticks. She's trading out at 137.05. So, what we have out here, folks. No different than yesterday. It is a consolidating market. We'll put up our cash indices charts out here. And you'll see a number of different rectangles. You see that in the Dow, price approaching the bottom of that consolidation. Same thing for the S&P. The NASDAQ's got quite a bit of ways to go before it gets down to the bottom of its consolidation pattern. The cash indice for the Russell 2000 did not generate a Gartley sell pattern. It is the Russell 2000 equity future contract that did. Odds favor, price should go target. That's the Russell 2000. It's red oscillator and change line, that price target, right now about 18.41. Semis are actually below the bottom of their consolidation, but they've also closed the gap. And so I'd probably move that consolidation pattern down just a tad out there. The bottom of that gap was at 3,006. We're at 3,007 right now. Got a nice uh, TD9 count top inside the uh, transports out there. That suggests to move down to 13, 515 over time. NASDAQ composite in consolidation out there. New York Stock Exchange actually has an A to B equals CD to the upside, but price may be targeting 15609. That is its red oscillator and change line. Now, you'll see red oscillator and change lines on each of these. If price somehow gets below that, that tells us about a market that wants to head lower. And when I say head lower, the price targets would become the uh, most recent swing lows out there. That's what it would take in order to get that kind of a change in trend signal. Otherwise, what we've got here is a good old fashioned, boring, and I do mean boring, consolidation pattern. Folks, stay tuned because what's coming up next is anything but boring. It's your favorite polar bear, David White. After that, Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with you tomorrow at one o'clock. Have a terrific Thursday. Be safe out there. We'll see you soon.